Hi, this is Angie. I'm an, an administrator with Linda's Yarn Art. Today I'm going to show you how to do cut and tie. I've got my piece laid out here. Um, I've already done a few rows to get some solid colors. That way I would be ready and have a good place to go to show you how to do color changes. I just picked some random colors to use. I, I like to use bright colors for the video so that you can see what's going on a little bit easier. I'm uh, also using a bigger hook than what is suggested just so the stitches are a little bit larger so that it is easier to see on the video. Okay, so this I'm using the pattern that I'm using is the Shirley Temple pattern that is in the free pattern folder in the files section. Um, this is the start of row seven. I had to do four of this color, 22 of this color. So now I'm ready for my first color change. Let me try to zoom in a bit. These, of course, are not the colors that are for this pattern. I'm just using these so that it's easier to be seen. <clears throat> okay, so my next stitch is one of my next color. So I've I put two loops on my hook, and then I'm ready to color change. But first I need to park my hook. So I stick my hook in the next stitch the top part of this hook goes in the next stitch to park it. And then it's it's pretty secure there, that way you don't lose your place. So then I'm going to cut my yarn. Some people cut it shorter, some people cut it longer, some cut it really long. So you do what's comfortable for you. You do want to leave enough so that you have plenty of room to tie your knot. I'm going to cut it about right there. And then I'm ready for my next color. So with my hook parked, I'm going to do a square knot. The right side goes over the left and around. I'm going to get it a little bit closer to my work. And then the left side goes around, goes over top, and through, and pull tight. Now, you do want your knot itself to be tight, of course. And you do want your knot to be close to your work. You don't want to put it really snug up against the back because then there's a possibility that it'll pull through. But you do want it to be close to the back of your work. So now I'm ready for my next color. So I just pick up and finish that off and then I do one stitch of that. So one stitch, I, I just go in once, pull a loop up, leave my two loops on here, park my hook. Cut, tie my next color on, unpark, finish that stitch, and see that makes one whole stitch of that color. So then I have one of the next. So I just go in, pull a loop up, park my hook, cut. And tie my next color on. Unpark. Finish that one. Then I have three of this one. One, two, three. I'll leave two loops on. Park my hook. Cut. And then I'll tie on the next color that is called for in the pattern. So then I unpark, finish that one. This one's just one also. I just have two loops on my hook, park my hook, cut, and tie the next color on. Unpark, finish that stitch, I'll leave two loops, park my hook, cut, and tie.
unpark. Finish that one. Okay, so the thing about cut and tie, you do want all of your ends to be on, on the back side of your work. Since I'm left-handed, then the odd rows are my front side. So that means row seven, it would be three, five, seven, nine, all the way up in odd rows. All of this will be my front. All of my cut and ties will be to the back. If you are right-handed, it is opposite of this. So on row seven, yours would look like this. All of your cut and ties will be facing you toward the side that you're working on. On rows three, five, seven, nine, and so forth. And then the opposite side, the even numbers, would be the clean side. That is for right-handers. So that's how you do cut and tie. When you get to the end of your row, you turn and then you have all of these ends on your back side, on the back side of your blanket. And they always, with cut and tie, always stay on the back side. Your knots are always back here. Your ends are always on the back. That way your front side is smooth. The color changes are clear and good. And then you can put a back or whatever you want to on, on the back of your blanket. Or you can hang it. You know, some people do the hanging. Um, I think that pretty much covers cut and tie. I hope this video was helpful.